Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. You're watching Linda Lately. In today's video, you'll be shown how to make sompa, also known as lao sour fish. You can eat this as is, or you could pan fry it or even microwave it. I'm just gonna keep it completely honest and make this little disclosure. I did use swai fish, which comes from the Mekong River in Vietnam, but upon further research, I didn't realize until after the fact that it's not the best fish that you should be consuming. Therefore, you can pretty much use any type of fish as long as it's cut up with the fillet style, no bone inside. And once you cut it up for some pa, you can either blend it up or you can cut it into small little strips. I like to do the strips because it's a texture thing for me. I feel like it tastes almost bouncier if you don't fully blend it up all the way. That's why I really enjoy it like that. And to flavor your sompa, you're going to want to use some raw garlic. I use about 10 cloves. Just put it into the mortar and pestle. You can crush it up for a couple of minutes. And this not only flavors the... The sompa, but garlic, raw garlic is really good for you guys. <laughs> and you're also going to be needing some sweet rice, also known as sticky glutinous rice. It's not only going to be a filler for most Lao food, but I found that it also really helps with the fermentation process since we are making a sour cured fish. This is what the sticky rice will look like before it's cooked. It's short, white grains and when you guys are looking for this at the grocery store i do not want anybody to be confused therefore not insulting your intelligence or anything like that i know you guys are really wise people but this is completely different from jasmine rice it needs to say sweet rice or if not that then it needs to say glutinous rice okay it's not going to be necessarily labeled as sticky rice even though that's what us Lao people know it as or you can just say cow neo. To make your som, this is the seasoning nam powder mix that you're going to need. A lot of people use this for fish, pork, beef. I've seen it all. If you're not comfortable with all the chemicals and preservatives that this might or might not come with, then you're more than welcome to make your own curing salt. But I'm just going to run through the list real quick of ingredients so you guys know what I'm talking about. Okay, first one, acidity regulator. That's just going to help maintain or control the pH balance for the food. Next, you got dextrose, which is a type of sugar, apparently. Third, you have emulsifiers, which is another food additive used to stabilize, stabilize foods so it won't separate. You got MSG. You got sodium ether bit. I think that's how you pronounce it. That uh, accelerates curing the meats. You got galongo, you got ginger, you got sodium nitrate, which is another chemical that is going to make either the food or the seasoning last longer. It also lists salt on there. I'm just going to assume that's the curing salt used to make the somba itself sour. Now we're going to put this inside of a pot or a mixing bowl whatever you guys have and start just start mixing away and we're gonna do this for quite some time maybe 10 to 15 minutes so yes you need your fish in there the rice the nam seasoning you need garlic and i even add a little bit more salt regular salt just for anybody who needs it, this is the brand of salt that I used. As always, the list of ingredients and whatever food items specifically that I used will be in the description box. Make sure you guys check that out. All right, now you're going to mix everything together. That includes the garlic, fish, rice, and seasoning, like I mentioned. And you're going to keep going for about 10 to 15 minutes. You're going to be squeezing it. This does t change the texture of the fish because I did cut it into strips, but this is kind of breaking it down even more. You keep on going until it gets really sticky and tacky and everything is pretty much staying together. 
Now it's ready to be put into a tray and you want to wrap it very, very, very tightly with saran wrap. You can let it sit for two to three days. The longer you let it sit, the more sour it's going to be. Check on it every day to make sure it's actually curing. That's it for my video, guys. This is how you make sompa after three days or four days or so in room temperature. It should be done. I like mine kind of sour. It's going to have a lot of, well, not too much, but some sort of juice on the bottom, of course, and you cut it into squares. It's ready to be eaten as is, like I told you guys, or you can just fry it or microwave it. Eat it with some sticky rice or jasmine rice and papaya salad and you're good to go. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and that it was super easy for you. Let me know your thoughts. And if you haven't already, I would appreciate it so much if you could subscribe to my channel. On this channel, you're going to see me making a whole bunch of Lao food. The other day, I just posted a Ladna video, which is basically wide rice noodles with gravy. I also have a video on how to make Lao oxtail pho. This was really good. The oxtail was super tender and I let the broth go for a good couple of hours. I also use a secret ingredient in this. You need to learn how to make some dessert. Well, I got you on that too. I show you how to make Kala Song, also known as Nam Wan. Show you how to make the jellies completely from scratch. Or maybe you're craving ok guy. I got you on that too. This got dill, chicken, eggplant in there. And guess what? I even have a King my recipe on there. So yes, you guys need to check out the other videos on my channel. And thank you so much. Have a good day.